everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to another daily vlog. Um, okay, so it is Monday morning. I did not vlog at all this weekend. It was so relaxing. Like, we did hardly anything. Kids got what, you know, we're back to school last week. Everybody was just worn out. Like, the emotions, the all of it, we were just so tired. So, Saturday, um, David had prayer and he had a lunch meeting and stuff. Me and the kids just stayed at home. We read, we played, we watched TV, we just chilled. I did have to get um, some stuff ready for Sunday. I made little egg bites. It was not a big deal. So I did that. Sunday, we had church. It was great. Um, we went out to lunch after that for Lucy's birthday, and she picked, so her birthday is on Wednesday, so I told her, we need to go out for your birthday either the weekend before or the weekend after, and so she wanted to go yesterday, which worked out great because we were already out for church. So we went to Chinese. We hardly ever go eat Chinese because it's hard, it's hard for David and I to stay on plan, really, but also because the boys don't eat it very good. Um... It was a buffet, so it, there was a little more options, but Nate ate, like, some of the plain chicken, and he ate some french fries. Mark ate nothing, really. He had a couple bites of ice cream, which was a huge win, because the child doesn't like ice cream. I don't understand it. Um, and he had some of those little wonton chips, like, two. <laughs> that was a waste of money for him, but Lucy loves Chinese food. Like, she loves the noodles and the veggies, and she just loves it, so... She was very happy. We're going to celebrate her birthday with, like, cake and stuff she's going to bring to church on Wednesday night. So, she didn't want a party this year. She wanted a bigger item for her birthday. Um, so, I let her have the choice if you want a party, a big party, or a more expensive present. She wanted to go the present route and then do some family stuff. So, she's going to be celebrating it all week, let's be real. And then last night, I had a horrible migraine by the time we got back from church. So there was like a technical difficulty at church, and I was up in the sound booth, and I don't know what I'm doing up there, y'all. Um, but the live stream didn't have any cameras. Like, it was black. And I restarted it and tried, like, all service to get it back, and it was just a hot mess. So after the stress of dealing with that and staring at that screen and, like, freaking out, um... I don't know why. Like, I get all look anxious because I want, like, because I know David's going to want the footage anyway. Um, and there's people that are at home that want to see, you know. But anyway, um, by the time we got home from lunch, I had a terrible migraine. So we really did nothing. Like, we just kind of chilled, you know, bath time, bedtime, all that kind of stuff got, ha got done. And today is Monday. And it's not been the best day. For a mul multitude of reasons, and we're going to get into that. But first, I've got to crank this car. I was trying to hold out and not crank it, but it is so hot today. Like, I am melting, so I am going to crank my car. Um, I will turn it. I will turn the fans down. Um, so, first of all, Nate was up all throughout the night. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I think, like... He can't express, like, he's excited about school. He, I don't think he has any nerves about school. But it's just, it's interesting how the school is back and his sleep is kind of, it's like the routine is thrown off, I think, more than anything. So he was up all throughout the night. At 5 a.m., I finally just got up. I was like, there's no point in trying to lay here. <laughs> well, I'm up. So I went ahead and did, like, my Bible reading this morning and all that. We got them to school, and then it was time to take Mark to preschool. And if you saw the last vlog, Mark has not had the best. He has a lot of a separation anxiety. He isn't used to being away from me during the day. And Friday, we went in the car line. They kind of went, the car line went long, and he wasn't expecting that. So the teacher just had to take him in, and I had to just drive away. And it was very traumatic, and we all cried, and it was horrible. Um, he ended up doing fine throughout the day. It's just that initial drop-off. So I was really praying that he would do better today. Me and David both took him, and we left a little bit later so that we would hopefully miss Carline <laughs> so that we could walk him in. Because I'm like, if we can walk him in for the first few weeks and he won't cry, you know, and we can, like, adjust, get him more adjusted and then maybe do the car line after that. But we get out, we walk him in, and before we even get to his class, he's already crying screen you know we get to the door he's like hanging on me and they're having to like pull him off I mean it's just 
it's the worst. Like, it is the absolute worst. And I, you hate seeing your kid like that. And I, I mean, I used to work in preschool and daycare and stuff a long time ago. So I know that it's normal and the kids will adjust. Like, I know all the things. But when it is your baby <laughs> when it's doing that, it just broke my heart. I didn't cry. I did not cry. I teared up, but I did not cry. Um, and the teachers were like, he's going to be okay. And I'm like, I know he is. Uh, but it was not fun. So I just hope he adjusts quickly. It is a big adjustment. The first day he didn't cry, but I think he just didn't know what to expect. He didn't know how long the day was going to be. So I hope he has a good day. They said they were going to go outside and play. It's a beautiful sunny day. So anyway, after I dropped him off, I went to the gym. I did arm workouts today. So my arms are going to be really sore. And then I went and ran some errands. I need to, so Sunday, this coming up Sunday, I'm doing, the church is doing a baby shower and I'm trying to like get stuff together for that this week. We've already done a lot of it, but it's going to be like us actually putting it together this week. Um, so I went and got some diapers because I'm going to make a diaper cake. I just think they're so cute. And then she can use the diapers. Um, so I went and got diapers. I went, then I went, I got that at Walgreens. I got a couple extra things. I'm going to do a whole haul when I get home. And then I went to Walmart because Layla needs new dog food. She was out and I'm going to try a different kind, like a more expensive kind, because as she's getting older, her stomach just seems like more sensitive. And she's had some like tummy issues this weekend. So I got her like a better quality, um, dog food. I always try to look for meat as the first ingredient, but this one is like more expensive. And I, I don't know. Hopefully it's like more natural and I'm hoping, um, she does better. I switched her to like when she has tummy issues, I just start giving her chicken and rice and that usually helps. And it has like, she's feeling a lot better, but now that I've got to ease her back into dog food, I'm hoping anyway. So I had to go to Walmart for that. Um, I'll show you. I, I also got some other stuff we needed. We needed milk and just like normal stuff. Um, what else did I get there? I'll show y'all. Then I went into Dollar Tree to get more stuff for the diaper cake. Um, if you guys know what a diaper cake is, right? It looks it looks like a three-tier cake, but it's made out of diapers. And it's really cute for like decoration and stuff, but then it's practical too. Um, but I needed like the pizza pan from Dollar Tree it makes a great base for the diaper cake. So I got that. And then while I was in there, I saw they had so many lunchbox snacks. So I got a bunch of lunchbox snacks because these are, these will, if they, if the kids like them, these will be perfect, especially for Lucy. I'm not sure about most of the stuff says made in a facility, facility that also has peanuts or whatever. So I'm probably not going to get, I don't even think Nate will like any of these. So this is mostly for Lucy and Mark if he wants it, but it's like small individually wrapped things, like little serving sizes and like cheap, like I can't believe how cheap. So I got a bunch of stuff. I thought we could try it, see how it works. And then I won't have to go buy snacks this week. You know. So anyway, I'm going to get home because it's already 1030 and I need to do a ton of work today. I'm still in my workout clothes, but y'all come hang out with me today. Um, I'll let you guys know how Mark does. I'm so anxious about it. Like, again, I know he's, I know he's going to adjust. I know he's going to be okay, but it's sad to you. Like when you walk in, he has a class of like 20 kids. All 20 kids are just sitting there in their seat looking at him like, what's wrong? And I'm like, oh, he's the only one crying. But I know like all the teachers in the hallway were like, it's going to get better. And I'm like, I know. Oh, I just hope it gets better sooner rather than later. Because he was telling me before he left, mommy, I just want to stay home. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I'm like, bud, you're going to be fine. It's going to be okay. But Anyway, all right, let's go home and we'll do a quick haul. All right, I got my helper over here sniffing everything out. Let me do a quick little haul here, big slush little haul. Um, so at Walgreens, Layla, you can't have any of this. I think she knows the dog food is up here. I think she knows because she never cries for the food. <laughs> okay, so got a few things at Walgreens. These <laughs> paper towels and toilet papers. They're five dollars normally, but they were they had some digital deals, so you got two twenty five off each one. So I paid two seventy five for each, which is pretty good. These aren't like huge rolls, but they still do the job. And for two seventy five, I feel like that's a good deal. Excuse me, what do you need? 
You're ruining the video. If it's not the kids, it's you. Um, and then they had diapers too for 21. And then if you bought it, you got like $4 back, something like that. So I did get some in-store rewards. I'm going to do size two diapers for this diaper cake. I just feel like that was the size that I used the longest. Um, newborn diapers and size one, you go so fast out of. So twos and threes, I feel like you get more use out of. It goes till the baby is 18 pounds. So it's pretty, pretty good time amount. So I got those. And then they had some fun drink mixes that we don't have. So I got the Jolly Rancher Green Apple and the Jolly Rancher Watermelon. Y'all know how much we love water enhancers. And then I really like this L'Oreal LV Total Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, it was two for 10 and then like $7, six or $7 off after that. So just a few dollars for each one of these. I thought that was a good deal. So I'm gonna add it to my stash. That's everything I got at Walgreens. I spent like $35 but I got $4 back. <laughs> so I think that was too bad considering the diapers all by themselves were normally 21 for both. Okay. And I would have spent about that at Walmart because I think Walmart, these packs are like $10 or more now, which is crazy. Diapers have gone up so much. Okay. Wal Walmart, Walgreens, Walmart. So I got some produce for Lucy mostly. Some of this we'll eat. Bananas. I got her some more sugar snap peas. I also got some broccoli some baby carrots. She can only have carrots now. She doesn't have her braces on. And then I've been making like homemade ranch every week or two and we've just been loving it. I make it with Greek yogurt and it's healthy and delicious. So I got another pack of the ranch seasoning. And then I saw these lightly breaded chicken nuggets. I have been missing chicken nuggets. I'm just not a big fan of like grilled chicken or whatever. So I was looking at the macros of these. This looks like really good macros. So 130 calories, two grams of fat, four carbs, really three net carbs, and then 23 grams of protein. We could definitely have this um, on our on our plan. So I thought we'd try these out and see. They're not super cheap, but there's five servings in here. I think this was like 746 or something. So not terrible. So I thought like putting this on a salad or something would be great. I got Nate some more pancakes. He's mostly the one that eats those. Two gallons of milk. And then they had on Ibotta these Tyson chicken bags. $1.50 off limit three. So they were like $6.46, but then I got four, um, $4.75. I can't do the math. $4.50 back for all three of these. So helps to save when you can. I got two bags of the honey battered breast tenders. So what is that? $6.46 minus $1.50. They're a little less than $5 a bag, which I used to pay for these all the time, but they've gone up a lot. So that's a good price. So I got two of the honey breast tenders and one chicken patty. Lucy loves chicken patties and I haven't bought them in a while. And then this is the, this is the dog food that Layla is wanting right now. It is the True Solution Small and Mighty Natural Nutrition for Small Red Dogs. It was like $21 for this tiny bag of thing. But we're going to see if she likes it. I've tried the pink blue bag. It's about the same price for small bread dogs, but they didn't have that today. So we're just going to go with that. Um, Lucy is so sweet. Y'all know this. She's amazing. And her homeroom teacher's birthday is tomorrow. And she asked me to get her her favorite snack which is Dr. Pepper and chocolate. I said, what kind of chocolate? She's like, I don't know, anything. So I got her a Dr. Pepper and then I got her this milk chocolate salted toffee bar because I thought that looked really good. And then everything else is for, from the Dollar Tree. No, wait, these are from Walmart. Homestyle waffles, this I feel like is such a great value. 24 waffles, it's $4.14. Nate loves waffles. He wants them every single day in his lunch. Okay, okay, okay. And um, we're going through them like crazy. He loves them. And also, Mark tried waffles this weekend, and he didn't love them, but he ate them, and that, that was a win. So, anyway. All right, everything else is from Dollar Tree, and then they go get Layla some food, because obviously she's starving to death. Just look at her wasting away. Um, okay. I thought these Snyder's pretzels were a great price. Lucy asked me for pretzels because that was one thing she couldn't have with her braces. So I got these butter snap pretzels for her. 
10 packs of mini chocolate chip cookies for $1.25. I thought that was a great deal. I mean, I'm sure they're tiny packages, but that's fine. 120 calories, so they're not terribly small. Um, and then these duplex sandwich cookies. I thought that was great. Um, they come with 18 packs. So I don't know if there's one cookie per pack or two, but good deal. I thought maybe Mark would like these. I remember eating these cookies in church nursery when I was little. Like, it's one of my first memories, these little butter rings. So I thought maybe he would like them. If not, I'm sure Lucy will. So I got those. I got Lucy some cheese crackers. I thought this was a great deal for six packs. And I like that they come in four packs because I just feel like the six packs of crackers, my kids don't ever eat all that. So I got these for Lucy. I also got her these brownie kings. We bought these before. These are good. They're not as big as like a cosmic brownie, but they're decent. And there's something fun. And then I remember eating these as a kid, the fudge covered graham crackers or graham rounds. Um, I thought maybe Mark would like these. We're going to try it. If not, I know Lucy will love them. And then because my heart was broken and I saw these in the checkout, I got him some M&Ms to have a little handful when I get him from school for being such a big boy <laughs> and staying all day. So I got those for him. And then this is the stuff for the diaper cake. The pizza pan, which I think for $1.25, I mean, that's not bad quality. And it'll be perfect for the diaper cake. And then I got, I'm going to decorate it with like ribbon and I thought some rubber ducks maybe. I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I saw they had rubber ducks. So I got some rubber ducks for the diaper cake. And then I thought it'd be cute to put some rubber ducks in the punch bowl. I'll wash these before we use them, but we're having like a blue punch. So I thought this would be cute to go in there. And then I just saw these little baby blocks and I thought either the diaper cake or something, maybe I would use them. I'm not sure. They said they're baby shower favors. I'm not sure why you would give somebody. Anyway, they're just blocks, but I thought maybe we could use them somehow. And that is it. So I'm going to go put everything away. I need to get some work done. I'm behind. Y'all, it's already 11 o'clock. The day goes by so fast. I thought I would have all this time. And I do have a good bit of time, but it just is eaten up. So, okay. I really wanted to get housework done today, but YouTube has to take priority because I have not done any editing in the last few days. So here is the haul, and I'll see you guys in a little while. You guys, it is 12.30. I got one video uploaded. I really want to get one more, um, but I had to take out my contacts too. I just ordered a different kind of solution, like name brand. I think several of you have told me the Pure Moist solution works really well, so I'm going to try that. I'm gonna try anything as I'm still having really dry eyes and I was talking to some of the ladies at ladies night out about it and several of them said that they also were having difficulties lately so I don't know what's going on but I want to try the different brand of contact solution it should be here tomorrow today or tomorrow um but I want to tell you guys that I just heard from Mark's teacher. So she had, so I emailed her on Friday about like him crying at the car line and all that. And she didn't see it till Friday night. So she had messaged me Friday night and said, um, he did really great. He didn't cry very long at all. And I just now saw it like, cause I don't log into the school system that often. And so anyway, I just saw it like an hour ago. So I messaged her back and just said, um, I forgot exactly what I said, but you know, basically that it's just, I think it's going to take a little bit of time. He's always been like my Velcro baby. <laughs> he's always had a harder time. And she messaged me back and said, he's played great all morning. So I was glad to hear that. It seems like it's the initial ripping the bandaid off in the morning. Me and David are talking about maybe trying David taking him and not me. I do think he'll probably do better. Um, I don't know. We can, at least maybe think about trying it. I don't want to make it harder on him, but maybe that would make it easier. We shall see. We're going to try maybe that and see how it goes. Um, and then I could pick him up in the, in the afternoon and he'll be happy to see me and not like, I don't know. Sometimes like the kids do better for David and sometimes they do better for me. It just depends. 
depends on what's going on and what it is. Um, but because he is so attached to me, and he's attached to David too, but definitely more me because he's he's just been with me so much. But anyway, I'm going to, before I go any further, go get a shower because I feel gross and I think that'll make me feel better. I have to leave here in an hour and a half to get Mark, so I don't have long. So I'm going to get a shower, kind of get ready for the day, even though it's after 1230 now. And I will let you guys know how Mark does when I pick him up. And really, we don't have a lot of plans tonight. It's just going to be a night at home. So I have taco meat I'm going to make. We're going to have like tacos and taco salads and stuff like that, which will be really great. So I will see you guys when I get when I get Mr. Marky back home. Aww. Wee! Tell us about your day. Can you tell the camera? What did you do? It's good. That it was good? Yeah. You had a good day? Thank you. You're not going to cry next time, right? No. Mm. <laughs> I missed you. Mwah. Did you, you got to play outside. You got to go to music class. He's been telling me all about it, haven't you? Haven't you? It smells like chocolate. Yeah. Do Did it. you get a few M&Ms for being so good? Yeah. Yeah. Me. You're welcome. Can I you love you, buddy. It's dark in here. Um... Just got Mark, as you can see, and talked to his teacher. She said that he did great. She said that he calmed down after just a few minutes. She just kind of held him, and he chilled out. Uh, he had a great day. He's still not really eating the lunch, but I'm not surprised. Um, but still think it's good. He's being exposed to it. Um, and they are giving him the snacks that I sent if he doesn't eat. So, or like if he doesn't eat the snack that they have, then they'll give him. He says, so what'd you have for snack today? He said rainbow fish. So, so that's good. At least he's eating something through the day and it all went great. So we will see how tomorrow goes. Um, just got him a little afternoon snack and I have right at an hour until, um, Lucy gets home and then about an hour and a half until Nate gets home. So I'm trying to finish this video up so I can be done with it. Uh, I was telling David, I'm like, I just feel like I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to. I wanted to do a lot of housework today, and I didn't get around to doing anything. So, I don't know. Like, I did get to go to the store today, and that took some time. And then, of course, the gym. I was only at the gym for, like, 30 minutes, though, but the travel back and forth. And I don't know. Like, I just feel like the day goes by so fast. And I'm trying to get YouTube work done, but I will figure it out. I will figure out a schedule. So, Especially like the days I don't go to the gym, then I'll have a little more time to do cleaning and stuff like that. Like, I'm not sure. I'm going to still try to go tomorrow to the gym, um, but maybe I'll take off Wednesday. We'll see. But anyway. I take my socks off. Please. You took your socks off? That's fine. You're home now. You can take off your shoes. That's what I do. It's when I first get home, too. You have socks on and you will fall. Yeah, that's true. If you run around with just your socks on, yes. Yeah, We've yeah. learned that the hard way. We haven't we? I love how talkative Mark is. Like, he can tell me, he told me all about his day, haven't you? You told me everything about your day. I told him when he started preschool. He had to remember everything to tell me about everything. And he does. He tells me so much. You got a hanger? I got something right here. We need to put that in the laundry room, don't we? Thank yeah, you. put the laundry. I'll do it for you. All right, you good job. I love you. Okay, I love you too. You can move and you go to the laundry room. Okay, he wants me to do it now. I'll I'll do it in just a minute. You gonna go eat your snack? I do. Okay. I don't want you. Okay. Um. Also, here is my water of the day. This is a good one. I make this one a lot, and I think I've told you guys about it. It is some sort of green apple packet. I like the Jolly Rancher green apple, but the Skittles green apple is good too. Or I think there's different flavors of green apple. Anyway, a green apple packet with a little bit of caramel sugar-free syrup. I use the, I don't remember what brand it is, but any of the sugar-free caramel syrup. So it's like a green apple caramel. I was doing on the chip. I got water out. Good job. Did you almost get stuck in there? Yeah, I Oh, that's so good. Like, you get the green apple taste, and then, like, as soon as you swallow, you get the caramel. So good. 
So I was talking to the receptionist at the school, and she's because they like check your ID when you go to check them out, of course. And she was asking me, like, who are you here for? And I said Mark's name. And she said, I remember you from this morning. <laughs> I was the, the child that was screaming. She's like, he will get better. I'm like, I know, I know. So I know, I know this isn't their first rodeo with a kid that's upset and has separation anxiety. But I have faith in him. Like, he's going to do great. At least I know that he calms down after a few minutes and he's not like that all day. So it makes it easier for me to leave a meal, although it's still terrible and I hate it. <laughs> so like, what are you doing to me? Anyway, I'm going to finish this video up. And then I'm going to sit down and read and not worry about the housework today. I, I haven't done any reading and I want to sit down and read. <laughs> so I'm almost done with The Last Mrs. Parrish and I want to finish that. Even though I will say it is very similar. People told me this. It is very similar to several books I've read. But not exactly the same. So I'll see you all back later. I don't like clarifying because I can just anticipate like what I said being misconstrued. So when I say I haven't done any housework, that is not true. I have unloaded the dishwasher. Actually, David unloaded the dishwasher this morning. One of us always does that. I have wiped down counters. I have put away like stuff like toothbrushes and wiped stuff down. Like I'm always straightening. I'm always picking up. I'm always doing all of that. So the house is not terribly dirty. It's just... I really wanted today to like deep clean, like do a deep one. And I don't, haven't been able to do that. Don't have time to do that. And now I'm exhausted and don't really want to do that anymore. <laughs> because I've been up since 5 a.m. and then hardly slept at all because of Nate being up. So our house is clean. It's just, I really feel the need to like scrub the floors and like get everything perfect. So. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely not today. But I always think, why she's back. And I'm like, people probably think her house is a mess. Because I've said like three times, like, I, I wanted to clean today. I didn't get to clean. I clean all the time. I am constantly cleaning. It just, I haven't had like dedicated time to clean, if that makes sense. I don't know. Guys, the kids just got home. Um, everybody had a good day. It's 4 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and start dinner because I want, I was going to do tacos, like a burrito bowl, and I still kind of am, but I'm going to do like a baked thing. So I'm going to brown up some ground beef. I actually have half ground beef, half turkey to cook into taco meat, season it up with taco seasoning, and then I'm going to pull out some just plain taco meat for the kids. And then for David and I, I'm going to stir in some cauliflower rice, put it in a baking dish, top with cheese, and bake it like a little baked oh wait did I say cauliflower rice taco meat and then I'm gonna stir some enchilada sauce into that then top it with cheese so it's like a baked enchilada rice kind of deal so I'm gonna make enough for us to have leftovers too so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that I need to wash the lunch boxes first um you guys might be seeing this video before you see a lunch video but I am filming lunch videos they'll just be slightly delayed so this first week, you will see last week's lunch video and so on and so forth because how I used to do lunch videos is I would film them Monday through Friday. I would get done with the last clip Friday afternoon and I would have to turn around and Saturday morning have it up. And that's just too tight of a turnaround time. It's too much. So they'll be a little bit delayed, but they are coming. They're not that exciting, y'all. My kids are so boring. But And... I'm sure you, you, if you've watched re recently, you know Mark's will not be included because he's eating at school. Or actually, he's not eating at school. <laughs> he's starving himself at school. Um, I do have faith that he will get better. We were working today on, when he got home, on drinking out of an open cup. I just haven't, I guess, practiced enough with him. Normally, he wants a straw cup, and I've just been giving him a straw cup. We have, like a long time ago, worked on an open cup and him practicing it. And he will sometimes drink out of an open cup when we're, like, out and about and there's no straws. But normally, wherever we go, we have straw cups or straws that we can put in a cup. And so at lunch, they get a carton of milk. And every time he tries to drink out of it, he spills it everywhere. So we practice it. He's gotten a lot better today. We've been working on that. I don't have a carton for him to practice on, but we've been practicing at a cup. So 
at least I know that he can drink milk. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to wash these lunch, vid lunch boxes and um, kids are playing and we're going to have dinner here soon. This is not baked yet, but it is one pound of ground beef, actually half turkey, half ground beef, about a pound of that. Two bags of cauliflower, rice cauliflower that I cooked in the microwave. One can of enchilada sauce fighting in the background. And that's it. Taco seasoning. So I put it into this pan. This will be four servings. And I'm going to top it with some light cheddar cheese. And then we're going to bake it until it's nice and bubbly. I'm going to do like 375 or so. Um, like I said, the kids are going to have tacos or quesadillas. So me and David will enjoy this. I tasted it and even without the cheese on top, it was delicious. So healthy baked enchilada casserole, I guess is what I'm going to call it. There's no tortillas. Enchilada rice casserole. I don't know. It's going to be good. Here is what it looks like coming out of the oven. So the light cheese doesn't melt like the best in the world. This would look better with regular cheese, but it tastes good. So who cares what it looks like? This is going to be a big serving too. So we will just top it with some taco sauce and a little bit of shredded lettuce. And we'll have dinner for today and then another night this week. So Nate had a burrito. He killed it. He loved it. Mark had taco meat. Lucy had a quesadilla. Everybody's fed. And it's just now 5 o'clock. They were all starving, so they ate a little bit early. David came home. He's cutting the grass. So when he gets done doing that, we're going to eat. I'm just going to clean up the kitchen because it's a little bit of a mess after all that. You guys, here is my plate. So I got the casserole, lettuce, um, Greek yogurt in place of sour cream, and some taco sauce. I'm so excited about this. Right, you guys it is now the end of the night it's like 7 30 ish dinner was no 6 30. i'm trying to make time go by too fast 6 30 i feel like it's like nine o'clock but <laughs> dinner was so good oh my gosh new favorite mexican dish so good i mean we've done like burrito bowls with cauliflower cilantro lime rice all the time we had that like once a week but this was even better with the enchilada sauce and then baking it in the oven. It was so good and it was so easy. And then we'll have leftovers. Um, it reminded me a lot of the pizza cauliflower casserole thing that I make. The only difference is well, instead of enchilada sauce, I do pizza sauce or marinara or whatever. But also in the pizza one, I use fresh cauliflower. And then in this one, I just used steamed cauliflower which is a lot easier because i didn't have to grate it and all that so i might try to do the pizza one with the steamed cauliflower because i bet it's just as good but anyway i was always i'm always worried that it's gonna like be too overcooked but this was perfect it was so good um everybody's getting baths it feels so nice outside it was so hot today but it's breezy out here. It's nice. Um, I'm really hoping tomorrow goes better with Mark. I'm very happy that he's having good days and they're saying he's doing great. Um, just that initial leaving. <laughs> he's told me again today, Mommy, I wish you could go to preschool with me. I'm like, buddy, I'm too big. And he'll say, I wish you were four. I'm like, well, if I was four, I would not be your mother. So... It's a good thing I'm not for. But anyway, I told you guys I was going to read a book or whatever. I, I never did that. I ended up making dinner early and um, doing other stuff around the house. I hand washed a bunch of dishes. So now I'm going to sit down and read some of my book. I have like a little bit of like back, like a backache. Um, so I'm going to sit down lay down on the couch, read a few chapters in my book, and it'll be bedtime here in a little while. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. We will see you back. I will see you back for tomorrow. Um, let's see. If you are still watching, why should I have you leave me? Leave 
me in the comments down below your favorite sweet treat emoji. Whatever it is. I don't even know what kind of emojis they have for like desserts. But whichever one is your favorite. You know, mine, one of mine is just a good old classic like birthday cake. I love that. It's either that or pie. Either that or pie. So, not having any of it. But the emojis are zero calories. So, we can push that. Um, so anyway, leave me that emoji down below. I love you all so much. I will see you tomorrow. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. All the things. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. When I was lost in hopeless. I was at my word